It's long hours, it's hard work, it's television production. And on today's show, you can come with us behind the scenes. You'll follow Czech TV's Alan Moore and the Commotion Today team while they produce their shows. We'll also talk to an instructor and a student on how television production is taught here at Commotion. Please join us. The Applied Communication Program at Commotion deals with three main areas of media communication, print, audio, and television production. On today's show, we're going to concentrate specifically on television production. At first glance, television isn't at all what you see on the screen. Looking behind the scenes may make it seem like a lot of smoke and mirrors, and at times it is, but there's a lot of planning and preparation that goes into any television production. We follow Czech TV's Alan Morning Crew, where they produce a segment of one of their shows. Here's Ornella with a report. Pat Moores, the producer-director of the Island Morning Show, told me a little bit about the making of her show. The Island Morning Crew consists of only three people. Nick does most of the camera work and editing, Mauricia is the host of the show, and Pat is the director-producer. There's lots of preparation and organization involved in producing six shows a week. Pat told me they stay well ahead of schedule. Normally, the crew have the following three weeks planned. Phone calls have to be made, interviews scheduled, and show content decided upon. Island Morning Crew on one of their interviews to see how they do it. shows are shot on Monday and Tuesday mornings, but the Cruncher show is Monday mornings. Monday's episode is taped at 9.15 a.m. and airs at 10 a.m., so this leaves very little room for errors. Wednesday and Thursday are shooting days for insert interviews and field shoots, which means the interviews are not in the studio but out in the community. Finally, on Friday, Nick edits previously shot interviews together. If there are any parts that Mauricia thinks should be cut out, she will leave a note for Nick. Approximately four hours of work went into producing the Gretchen Bruin interview, and on the final show, it's nine minutes long. And been involved in some very exciting projects that, I'm, that, that won't, will, will come my way perhaps in a different way, but not in the same way. What would you consider the biggest accomplishments during your five years in office? Well, I... Gosh, it's hard to, to pick on one because there have been a number that that the number of big projects that come to mind right away, and and they're perfectly legitimate ones. I think of the conference center. I think of Eaton's. That's how the professionals do it. As you can see, it takes a lot of time and preparation to put together a good show. For Camosun today, I'm Ornella Sorella. Pat Morris from Czech Television has come down to our studio to tell us what it's like being in TV production. Welcome, Pat. Thank you. Firstly, Pat, what is your position at Czech TV? Uh, right now I'm uh, producing and directing Island Morning. Mm -hmm. And what exactly does that in entail, producing and directing? Um, well, it's a matter of um, helping Marisa and I come up with ideas together as far as guests. And I direct the show, which is aired six days a week. And um, I also go out in segments and I grip and mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff. Because mm -hmm. there's about three of us that work on it, so we... Right. Kind of do a lot of different jobs. Right. In the clip we just saw, there was Mauricia interviewing and Nick on camera That's and right. yourself. And yeah. So, it's just so Nick three. shoots and he edits. Mm -hmm. I go up with Nick on the shoots and we organize what they're going to look like and set things up. And then we come back and we edit and mm -hmm. start again the next week. Six shows, shoot, edit. So we have kind of a sequence each week of what we do. Mm -hmm. And how did you get into TV? Um, 
Well, I applied at Czech nine years ago, and I started as a production assistant, mm -hmm. working on the news and uh, various other shows at Czech TV. And I've been doing that, uh, working in the news mainly, and directing news for about eight years. And then this year was the first year of working on an actual talk show. Mm -hmm. And so the training that you had to to have the position you have now was being the production assistant? Is yes, and also the directing mm -hmm. in the news. Mm -hmm. And being the production assistant, you worked on different programs, so you got you gained a lot of different experience? Well, you work very closely as a PA with um, a director and mm -hmm. a producer. You get assigned a lot of different things, whether it be working in con like on the news as far as timing and giving cues and organizing scripts, or working on a production where you have to um, you know, collect research material, find out mm -hmm. facts. Say for a parade, you have to go and find out all the information about different floats and a lot of mm -hmm. a lot of background stuff you have to get for producers and directors. You find yourself there on weekends, or is that? Uh, I used to work weekends and nights and days, all kinds of shift till yeah. this year. Uh, but this show, um, I really have to be there Monday to Friday so I can talk to people on the phone as far as booking guests. Mm -hmm. And I usually get everything done pretty much that I need to get done by Friday. Mm -hmm. So. And the producer, director of the Island Morning Show comes up with the ideas? Or? Uh, Marisa um, and, I, and myself both come up with ideas. Mm -hmm. We work very closely together and very well together. The three of us, Nick, Marisa, and I get along all very well, which makes it a joy to work on because mm -hmm. I can think of nothing work, worse than working that closely and not getting along. Yeah. So we're very fortunate that our main goal is to have fun. Mm -hmm. And the process, we're getting, I think, a, fairly, a, a good show out of it with good content. and. We're different enough in ideas that we can come up with new ideas continually. Mm -hmm. So whatever my ideas are, um, are different, say, than Marisa. So it works because there's always something a little bit different that we have in mind. Mm -hmm. So the good relationship that you all have shows in your work, you think? I think so, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Um, the clip that we saw with Marisa interviewing and Nick on camera and yourself means that there's just the three of you in that in Island Morning. That, does, that doesn't seem like a very big crew to me. Well, for the actual production, um, we also have a senior producer who mm -hmm. oversees stuff that when we have the budgeting and to take care of all the hassles for us, say. Mm -hmm. And um, the actual crew, Monday and Tuesday, we have a full crew that works on uh, putting the show together. Mm -hmm. We have a production assistant, audio, switcher, oh, yeah. VTR, camera people. But Wednesday to Friday, we take over and have to do the bulk of it, everything to get it organized. Mm -hmm. And you couldn't really have, if you had a million people working on it, you probably wouldn't get as much done. You almost need to have a specific group that kind of targets what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Too many uh, so too chiefs. Many, right. You know. Too many cooks in the kitchen. That's right. Spoil the broth. Mm -hmm. What would you say um, is a, a very important thing for a student to learn before going out and finding a job in TV production? Um, I think probably that People maybe think they can aim just for the top job and they're in school and it's like, I'm going to be this. As soon as I get out, I'm going to be the or best be director, the, director. the best everything. Yeah. And I think it takes time and when you're younger, it's like, when am I going to be old enough to be taken seriously? And mm -hmm. it, from experience, I know it takes a long time because you go in and when you're the new kid on the block, you're always sort of frowned upon, I think, because mm -hmm. everybody's older. And it's only really from working, getting older and getting experience that you have, you eventually get there and realize you've got what it takes to mm -hmm. put it all together. Mm -hmm. So I guess just biding your time and knowing that if you have to go and, and work at a different job you don't really like to begin with, it's all part of the process to get you where you want to be, mm -hmm. you want. So if you stick in there and... Hang in there yeah. and work hard and then yeah. you usually all works out, you know. Mm -hmm. So if it's really what you want to do, you'll do it. Absolutely. Yeah. Great. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. We follow Camosun today on one of their shoots. Let's see how they compare to the professional television production. Second year students in the Applied Communication program are divided into small groups. Each group is responsible for okay. producing okay. three shows during a semester. How is your segment coming, John? It's going pretty good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. What is your segment? Have you got the yeah, really good fun? Uh, yeah. 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 What segment would that be? Do you think it's going to be okay? Students. Oh, yeah, yeah. Students, yeah. students uh, working outside the college. Yeah. yeah. Are you guys, what are you guys doing? Oh, no, what, what kind of... Most of it inside well, then. The first thing that has to be planned is the content of the show. Working around everyone's busy schedules, group meetings are called regularly. Ideas are talked around until a decision is made. After this, the real work begins. Another group meeting is called to discuss the approach and as many details as possible. 
The group has to think about what kind of visuals are going to be shot and what people are going to be on camera. Phone calls are made to contact people for interviews. Once they agree to appear on the show, dates are arranged. Then, another group meeting is called. Research is done on the topic so that important information is presented to the viewers. This is where script writing comes in. Lines and questions are typed up for the interviewers to say. The interviewer then meets the guest for a pre-interview, which is a practice session. If the interview is to be shot away from our TV studio, a reconnaissance is done. What you do is check out the interview location for any problems. Then, another meeting is called to discuss the pre-interview and the reconnaissance. Since there are several groups working on projects at the same time, it's necessary to reserve equipment in advance. Everything is now ready for the actual shoot. The cameras, lights and microphones must be set up properly, and this takes the most time. log the raw footage which you just shot. You make a note of where certain footage is located on all the videotapes. Before you do any editing, you plan which segments go where. This is written down on paper, and yet another meeting is called to finalize it. Now the actual editing is ready to be done. It takes a group about an hour to edit each minute in a show. Once everything is edited onto a master tape, Copies are made for local distribution. Finally, the last group meeting is called to discuss the rap party and the next show. John Rao, a student in the Applied Communication Program, has come in to talk to us about what it's like being a student in television production. Hi, John. Welcome. Hi, Gina. John, can you tell me what made you decide to get into this course? Well, Check 6 Cameraman had actually, uh, who I was talking to, had taken the program about uh, 10 or 11 years ago. And uh, he wrote down the piece of paper, he gave me the name of the instructors that he had had, and he told me to come up here and uh, talk to whoever was, was here. He didn't know if the instructors would be the same. Sure enough, I came up here, and they were Al Lehman and Kerm Carlson. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got a tour of the facilities, and I saw what the program was all about, and I decided then and there that this was what I wanted to pursue. And so I uh, went down and registered, and uh, sure enough, the following September, I was in. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, so when you graduate from this program, what would you like to do? Would you like to be a Check 6 cameraman? or? I wouldn't mind doing uh, what he does. Uh, he does the ENG, which is electronic news gathering, and uh, he goes out on shoots and, and, and shoots on-the-spot footage with a uh, reporter and what have it. And I think that would be great. Uh, that would be, you know, a lot of variety, uh, get to know the, the city and, and people and, and get out into the community. Um, the other thing I wouldn't mind doing, though, is, is, uh, is audio for television. Audio is, is, mm -hmm. is a great medium, um, and it certainly enhances uh, the visual portion of television. And uh, it's something that, that I'm really interested in, the mixing and, and music laying down and what have it. Mm -hmm. So here at Camos in, in the Applied Communication Program, do you learn both of those things? You learn audio and, and, and video, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so you would, be, you would be able to get a job in either of those? 
field, do you feel? Well, to go directly into to audio for television would be difficult. Um, you'd, uh, it's really limited here. Um, going out into the industry, it, it, you can't just jump into a, to a position like that. You've got to work your way up from the bottom. Mm -hmm. So you'd start at a small station up north somewhere out in the boondocks, mm -hmm. um, either working at a small television station or a radio station, for that matter, um, and getting to learn how everything works in a station like that. Uh, the pay is not exactly all that great, but that tends to make up for the fact that they'll let you come up and work there and make mistakes. Mm -hmm. So y what you're saying is, is you go to a small town to, to learn more. Yeah, that's generally how the system works. You, mm -hmm. you pay your dues up north and if you talk to, well I've talked to quite a few people in the industry and 90% of them say that that's how they got their start. They got their start at a small station and just worked their way up. Mm -hmm. How do you find the instruction here at Camosun College? Is it what you had expected? Yeah, so it's basically what I had expected. It's, it's good instruction. Um, emphasis is not necessarily on, on theory, though. A lot of it is on uh, practical use of equipment, and that's really where you, you get most of your learning out of. You learn by your mistakes, as, as they always say, and I find that that's certainly is true. Um, getting hands-on on the equipment allows you to get a gut feeling of how it all works. Um, too much mm -hmm. theory is, and not enough practical, it just doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So something in television, um, a course in television production is really good when it comes to hands-on experience, isn't Yeah, it? yeah. Um, because that's what all the equipment is, is, you you know, using the equipment. It's not necessarily the theory, is yeah, it? Yeah, it's hard to describe to someone what yeah. it's like to, to shoot a television show. You can read about it or, or be told about it, but it really doesn't sink in unless you go out and actually do it. Mm -hmm. And you just get that gut feeling. Mm -hmm. um, what's your favorite thing to do when producing TV? The actual production. Going mm -hmm. out and shooting things is, is, is what I enjoy to do. Um, actual hands-on use of the camera or editing, post-production, uh, using the switcher, graphics, things, things of that nature. The actual portion that, that you can see, immediate results. I, I like immediate results. I like to, to, to see what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So, okay, you have to produce a 30-minute television show, a Commotion Today show, mm -hmm. something like this one. Yeah. Now, can you tell us what you and your team goes through, the steps you go through? First step is to, to get to the final production. Yeah, the first step is to come up with an idea for the show. That can be hard sometimes. Uh, other times, you can come right off the bat with a great idea. Everyone in your group agrees about it. And you go and you sit down and you brainstorm um, for ideas as to what sort of things you could do in the show. Um, at that point, um, we do a little research, then we write a proposal and a treatment of how we're going to present the show. We'll go mm -hmm. out and contact people in the community um, who would be involved in what we're doing a show about. We'd interview them, we'd uh, shoot r some footage, uh, and then we'd log that and go in and actually edit it. Mm -hmm. uh, the editing process can take a long time, can take a short time, it just depends on, on what kind of a show you're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you'd uh, lay down some audio and really do some sweetening at that point. Then you type up your labels, pack them on your tape, and hand it in. And you're finished, hey? So what does that take you? How long do you have to do this? Month? Well, we have a month to do the program. Right. Usually the first week spent on general idea um, refinement and doing research. Uh, the second and third week are generally devoted to shooting. Usually there's a push towards the third week on shooting mm -hmm. uh, and even going into the fourth week. Hopefully by the middle of the fourth week, you have all your footage shot, and you are um, at the point of, hopefully, yes. <laughs> now, there are some people that uh, sometimes, sometimes you just don't get your footage shot. Sometimes mm -hmm. there's just problems come up, and you're shooting right down to the, to the last minute. Right. And uh, then we edit for the last few days, hopefully. Mm -hmm. The thing with media, of course, is that deadlines are, are a big part of it, and, and sometimes there's a real push. Mm -hmm. And really, in this program, you feel that push, and it really gives you a good feeling of what it's going to be like when you, when you go out into the industry. Great. Well, thanks, John, for joining us today. Okay. Well, you're very welcome. Commotion Today programs have been produced now for over 14 years, and major changes have taken place, not only in the types of shows, but also in technology. Let's take a quick look and see how Commotion Today programs and video production itself has changed over the years. Two years after the start of the Applied Communication program, television production was introduced. In October 1977, the first Commotion Today show aired on Cable 10 TV in Victoria. 
the early video equipment was black and white and was used on an open reel machine which worked a lot like a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. First color cameras were bought three years after television began in the program, but the quality of picture was not as sharp nor the colors as clear as those used today. The jump in technology to the broadcast quality equipment came in 1984 when the cassette type of machines and new cameras were purchased. These machines were some of the first of their kind to appear in Western Canada and be used in a college program. This equipment produced a much higher quality picture, plus it was lighter and more portable. The original studio was very small compared to this one. Camosun College can't broadcast from this studio, but it's designed exactly like a broadcast station. It's equipped with a control room that has a video switcher which operates up to five cameras, does special effects like wipes, dissolves, and chroma key. Microphones and music are controlled through an audio mixer, plus there are two editing suites for combining the original videotape footage into the final show. Show content can vary a lot, but students have to keep some tie to Camosun life. There are many different show formats, documentary, biographical, variety, and magazine style, like this show to name a few. Traditionally, Camosun Today has been a window on the college for the community to look through, and a place where students of TV production can challenge their skill and imagination. Al Lehman is the video instructor here at Camosun College. We wanted to ask Al about the growth of TV production in the Applied Communication Program. Hi Al. Hi Gina. Thanks for coming in. Al, I'm sure when our viewers are watching our Camosun Today programs on the cable channel, they're wondering why they're always so different. Can you tell us why the format always changes? Sure. The basic reason is that while well, we want to have some things common from week to week, uh, we want to give the students as much opportunity as possible to be as creative as they want to be and to approach things in different ways. So, mm -hmm. Camosun today has a set of basic objectives that the students have to meet, and then other than that, they're free to approach things pretty much the way they want to. Mm -hmm. So, as basic objectives, we expect the show to be entertaining, we expect it to be informative, and it must in some way relate to Camosun College, because the third objective is that the program should be a window on the college, so people who watch it from outside learn something about the college. Mm -hmm. Now, within that loose kind of framework, students approach the show in a lot of different ways because they're different people and they've got different kinds of creativity. Why do, all the, why do the programs have to be on Camosun College? Why do they have to be? Yes. Oh, that's a, quite an arbitrary decision on my part. I decided mm -hmm. that, oh, really? uh, yeah, I decided that it would be a, a, a good thing for the community to have a vehicle by which they could learn something about the college. Mm -hmm. um, by having the content uh, Camosun College based, that would also mean that uh, um, different aspects of college life here would get a uh, little free PR. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds like a good reason. And the college is big enough uh, and, and complex enough that uh, there's no end of uh, subject material. You know, we've got about mm -hmm. 800 uh, people here, faculty and staff, and mm -hmm. a lot of different programs and so on. So, mm -hmm. The programs have been running now for over 14 years, and mm -hmm. um, the content as well as technology has really changed. Can you tell me what you think the, the most specific changes of those would be? Okay, well, starting with the content, uh, mm -hmm. um, in a lot of ways the shows have gotten better and better as time's gone on. And it's uh, not just because you're much smarter than the previous people. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's also because um, initially we tended to do uh, a program on one fairly narrow topic. So you'd end up with uh, interviews that were really pretty lengthy and so on. Mm -hmm. And we discovered after a while that this was really getting boring. And so uh, most of our programs now follow a sort of a news magazine format. The interviews are shorter. Uh, the, uh, the segments are shorter. And mm -hmm. so it makes it more interesting. Mm -hmm. Was that your decision to make like, the interviews shorter and more of a magazine format? Or is it just something the students discovered? It's partly mine. It's partly uh, w what happens in the industry. It's partly mm -hmm. students saying, hey, this isn't working. You know, it's a whole combination of things like that. Right. Um, so what about the equipment that we have now? Is it... Mm. Much better, of course, than it was mm -hmm. because television equipment keeps getting smaller and lighter and better and cheaper. So. Mm -hmm. 
you know, cheaper. even with small budgets, uh, you can get uh, uh, this. You can get a much better quality of equipment now for fewer dollars than you could before. Mm -hmm. you know, and this is an ongoing thing. Uh, when we first started here, we were working with uh, open reel half-inch video equipment. Mm -hmm. uh, we went then to three-quarter inch, and we've been in three-quarter inch most of most in today's lifetime. Mm -hmm. um, now we're looking at the possibility of also in, within a year or two being able to collect images uh, on formats that are smaller than that. Uh, one thing we're looking at, for example, is high 8 which is a uh, half-inch format. Mm -hmm. In the near future, let's say the next five years? It all depends on funding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there a lot in the budget? Is there <laughs> well, it depends. How is if, funding? If you're talking about the budget I submit, yeah, there's a lot in there. The budget that we get uh, is considerably smaller. Mm -hmm. And it varies a lot from year to year. Uh, uh, this year, uh, the television budget was particularly small. We ended up buying one piece of equipment. Mm -hmm. The year before, it was uh, somewhat larger, and we were able to replace more things. Mm -hmm. So just do, do what you can as, as the years progress? Sure. It's all you can do. Right. Uh, do you feel that your instruction is better now? I mean, it must be. I think it is. You get older, it uh, gets better. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm working on the assumption that um, you don't have one year of experience 20 times, but you have 20 years experience, you know, that you, mm -hmm. that you get better as you practice things. Mm -hmm. um, but also, uh, I've had a chance to get away and do some professional development from time to time. So. Uh, when I first came here, I had some training from the States, I had some training from Canada as well, and some experience from Canada. Um, about four years ago, I had a chance to go live in the United Kingdom for three years, and during that time, I had a chance to study both how British people do television production, mm -hmm. but also how organizations like the BBC train television production personnel. Mm -hmm. So I was able to bring some ideas back and incorporate those into the instruction here. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, what type of person do you think it takes to be a student in the video production? Oh, hmm. In video production, I think the top skill is you have to be able to work in teams and to work effectively with people so that you can produce good quality work under pressure. Mm -hmm. That's the top thing. If you can't communicate well with other people, you're wasting your time in television training mm -hmm. for the simple reason that television is by its nature a group activity. Mm -hmm. So interpersonal Communication is number one? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for joining us, Al. My pleasure. We hope by watching today's program, you've gained a better knowledge in TV production, and more specifically, in what goes into making a Camosun Today program. Please join us next time when Camosun Today features the Visual Arts program. Until then, thanks for tuning in. <laughs>